2021, what a year. Incredible, I know all you contractors are scrambling right now. It's a busy time, it's a great time. It's, um, it's so satisfying seeing our industry with such growth and I'm happy for all you contractors. But it's time right now to stop. We need to stop and we need to reflect back on what we're doing and where we're going. Running your business is what we're required to do, not letting our business run us. So I really wanna make sure we focus on that. Job costing should be a major priority in your company right now. You've most likely got a few jobs underneath your belt, but what you're doing, is it right and is it working? And the bottom line, is it making sense? If you're not making money right now this year in 2021, you really need to reflect back on what you're doing. This is a beautiful opportunity, not to take advantage of customers, but there's no reason or no excuse why you should not be making a fair profit margin on every job you're installing right now. I wanna talk about job planning. Job planning is crucial. The most important time you spend on a job is right in the office, pre-planning that job. If you've got a job sold, don't go out with all your guys and say, okay, where do you wanna start? You should have that project built in your head for starters, those of you that are running the projects. The job should be built already. Grade plans should be set. So when you get to that job, you're running. You're already three steps ahead of your guys. It shouldn't be where you got guys standing around. Another thing you gotta keep in mind before you even get to that job, do you have your materials lined up? Pavers, I know pavers are backed up. Are you putting in your orders? Say you have jobs coming up month, three months down the road. Are your products ordered ahead of time so that you're all of a sudden not saying, where are we going tomorrow? Or we were at the job and now we can't install the product. Make sure your product is ordered. How about trucks? If you got a dig out and you got a tremendous amount of product coming out or going in, do you have your trucks lined up so that you're getting that product delivered on time so you can get the product in the ground fast and efficient? If you're hauling out, do you have your dump site? Do you know where you're hauling that excess material to? These are all things you should plan ahead because time is money. Remember, opportunity costs. If I spend 15 minutes extra doing a task, I've lost a half hour because extra 15 minutes I spent, I could have been doing my next task. We need to be thinking along these lines. In a year like we're having, the more pre-planning we can do, the better off we're gonna be. How about equipment? Is there equipment that needs to be on a specific job? Say you might be renting a piece of equipment. Do you have that piece of equipment in your schedule lined up for rental so that it gets to the site when you need it. Also tools, and this one I, I often chuckle. At our at Pave Tool here, there's guys like, I need a tool, I need it tomorrow. What is it gonna cost me? And there's times it'll cost three, $400 to overnight a tool. Are there jobs coming up in your, in your company where you need a specific tool for a job? It might not be our tools. I'm just saying in general, if you need product or tools, Make sure you line that up ahead of time. Time is money. We need to be efficient. Saving the best for last, employees, right? The biggest struggle our industry's having ever in history. Trying to find employees to get our products installed. Are your employees you have, are they happy? What are we doing to keep our employees happy? That's crucial. If you got an employee, it, we need to nurture that employee to keep them on board with us. There's a lot of opportunities out there. But what are we as a company doing to keep our employees? And again, it goes back to tools, systems, equipment. Are we requiring, I just had a contractor this morning, he called. He's got 115 pound blocks that he's installing. The guys have physically been carrying them. He's like, I need to stop. So he's ordering a clamp, a specific clamp that he can grab the product three at a time, 315 pound blocks, and he's gonna set them the 345 pounds in one shot, spin the middle block around, set it in place. This, this is what I'm talking about. We need to be forward thinking. If not, we're gonna lose it in our industry because you're not gonna be able to find the help that we need. So I think it's crucial. We take care of our employees, we massage them, and really, really show them how much they're appreciated. Again, that doing to others, you want them to do unto you. Let's take care of our employees. So another note with product availability, I wanna give you a scenario. So our Weber compaction equipment, extremely popular. I'd say it's the best uh, compaction equipment on the planet. But guys are calling in and there's a backlog 
okay, maybe three, four months before I can see a product. I wanna encourage you, put your name on that list because at the end of three or four months, that could be pushed out six months. The way our industry is growing at such a rapid rate, equipment and products are becoming less and less available just due to the high demand. So I wanna encourage you, be proactive. I know it may be a long time before you might see a piece of equipment, but put your name on the list, get your name on the roster, because we don't know what the future holds. On another note, I just wanna bring up, don't go hog wild. We have to be careful. Remember, you're in the driver's seat of your business, you're also the ones gonna be paying those bills. Keep in mind, we don't know what the future holds. Next year, if things do tighten up, don't overextend yourself. We're all of a sudden you got these huge payments and you're not sure where you're gonna get this money from. So invest wisely, do your research, and I know you're so busy, you're probably like, how am I supposed to spend time to research? But it is so crucial that you buy the equipment that you're gonna need. If it's equipment that's billable to a job, that's what you wanna invest in. It might not be time to buy your fancy truck, I don't know, but you have to weigh that out and make sure that you're making wise, wise business decisions so that at the end of the day, if things do tighten up, you're not overwhelmed with payments. And don't forget to like or subscribe to our YouTube channel, Instagram, Facebook, and you can always find us at pavetool.com.